Hello everyone. We're heading into Clash of Wills to get a rank one run. So we're going with a water based team first and this is what I put together. Up first is Melissa as our main supporter. So gear wise gave her a bunch of uh, morale fills. So the peppermint rod, just morale per turn. The coat, morale per turn. Philosopher stone seeker, some auto casting. Her own card for morale. And then we gave her ailment resist with the materia. Blizzard orb. Probably won't matter, but a uh, bunch of health and spirit and stuff. So she's got okay on elemental resist. And she is provoking. Just whatever. So full provoke. Full evade. Just survivability. Uh, Abigail's up next for our tank. So for her, good uh, water and dark resist. A lot of health, some defense, spirits, blizzard orb to counter. Uh, blue wave for the uh, kill turn. S uh, Sylvie's card for resist and morale per turn. So she's 95% provoke and full evade herself. Then we have Kaito. So in the base, he's got the Empress Rod and the ring for morale at the start. The mask is morale per turn. Signet, Morale per turn, Philosopher's Stone, just some auto casting. Wilkes card for Morale per turn. Uh, in the shift is just some attacking and killers. 275 Beast, 150 Aquatic, 300 Dragon. He does have 300 limit damage, but that doesn't really matter. And then we have Tifa. So in the base, Titus is Garb, and the, we got the Pendant to boost her limit as well as morale per turn. Ailment resist with the materia. Star rending is there for killers and her shift is just LB focus. Three hundred beasts, one fifty aquatic, three fifty dragon, three hundred limit damage. And then we have Ang as damage and supporter. So for him, just LB focus. Three hundred beast, aquatic, dragon, and limit damage for him. And then we have Chow for his chaining partner and LB focus. So winged heart, just so that he's immune to the preemptive sleep. Uh, three fifty beast, three hundred aquatic, two seventy five dragon, and three hundred limit damage for him. All right, let's jump in. Alright, turn one. Abigail is going to limit for general and magic mitigation. Melissa. Shared immunity. Chronic flow. And parasol shield. For Aang, we're going to water and view the party. We'll do clear sun for stat buffs and rolling mist to put up the field. See, Kaito is going to shift. We'll do crashing wave, sun glitter, and destabilizing. Tifa is going to shift and just stack her limit. And for Chow. We'll do bar water, ocean magic, and just double on his water bolting. Alright, turn two from Melissa. 
We're going to do Sheared again because we're getting bonus morale for ailment resist. We'll toss out a heal. Just make sure everybody's topped off. And we'll do Bardark this turn. For Abigail. Magic Cover. We're going to do Phase 1 for uh, Mirage. And then we're going to do the Attack Break for the uh, Type Mitigation. For Kaito, we'll do Downpour. Uh, deep and Destabilizing. Tifa. We'll go back to the base. We're just going to triple and Overpower for Aang. We're going to do his Cleansing for the morale more than anything else. And then just double Steady. And then for Chow. We're just going to quad on his Water Bolting. Turn three, Abigail is going to do super for better mitigation. Melissa. We're going to do shield immunity. And we're going to beast killer Aang and dragon killer Aang. Kaito can go to the base because he's got more morale per turn. And we're just going to triple and cascading slash. See for Tifa, triple on overpower. Uh, Chi trap. So we're gonna do bolting, and then Ang's gonna switch over and do his swift arrow for bolting. And then for Chow, triple on his water bolting, and then we'll refresh the water and view on the party. So let them chain. All right, turn four. Abigail is just going to magic cover and do both breaks. Melissa. We're going to heal. And then we're going to do both beast and dragon killer for Tifa. So beast killer Tifa and dragon killer Tifa. Kaito is going to shift. So we're going to have him do Torrential Force. Uh, downpour. And Deep Submersion. Tifa does Focused Energy Plus. For Aang. Just triple on Swift Arrow. And then for Chow, we're going to quad, so we're going to do three on his water bolting, and then refresh uh, bar water.
Alright, turn five. Have Abigail just uh, triple heal. For Melissa. Shield immunity. This time we're gonna beast killer for Chow and dragon killer for Chow. Kaito goes to the base. So we're gonna reseeding tide for Mirage. And then just uh, double slash. Tifa is gonna do shift the limit. For Aang. Triple on Swift Arrow. For Chow. We're going to triple on Water Bolting. And then we'll get another heal in there. Just for uh, Melissa. Alright, so we hit the 80 threshold, so the boss is going to heal and buff a little bit. Turn 6, Abigail does super to keep the good mitigation up. Melissa. We're going to do Parasol. We'll toss out a heal. And then we can Beast Killer on Aang. Kaito can shift. So we're going to do unpredictable uh, to get rid of his buffs, seeing we can't normal dispel him. Sun Glitter for the field. And Downpour for Killer for Tifa mainly. Tifa goes to the base. And we're going to do the Gilded Pendant to boost her limit even more. Ing, do Hunter and Double Swift Arrow. And then for Chow, Arcane for the big buff. We'll do Encouraging and double on his Water Baltic. Alright, turn 7. Abigail. We're going to do Magic Cover. We're going to do the Omni Cover. And then we'll toss out Attack Break just for the type mitigation. Melissa. Shield Immunity. And then we'll do Beast Killer for Chow and Dragon Killer for Chow. For Kaito, we'll do Downpour 
Flux and Stream for the uh, 90 breaks. Tifa can shift. We'll do her 150 and double bolting. For Aang, we'll do the Vertex. We'll do his 180 water. And then we're going to do uh, Rolling Mist to put up the field again. For Chow, we're going to do Beast Killer for Tifa, so she has 200 instead of 150. Refresh Bar Water. Do his 150. And Fluffy for Storm Magic after. Turn 8, we'll use our morale buffs for attack and magic, defense, spirit. Melissa, we're going to buff up Aang, so he's going to get seconds. Beast Killer and... I guess Dragon Killer doesn't really matter. See, and he already did Dragon Killer for the party. Alright, Abigail does Blue Wave. Kaito is triple on Blade Storm. Tifa does Shift the Limit, Aang does Super, and Chao does Super. Alright, let's see if we get this dead. And that's a yes. the rank one take a look at damage so chow did pretty good ang did decent tifa technically did get multiple limits in so i think her damage is slightly inflated from earlier bursts but uh, she did pretty good too kaito trying to break one but uh, there's a water team rank one for the clash so we're gonna end this video here hope everybody enjoyed